So this second example asks the question, how many ways are there to shuffle a deck of cards? And when you shuffle a deck of cards, what's the probability you are making card shuffling history? So as with the previous example, we're going to go ahead and put in some placeholders here. This first will be the uh, top card after you shuffle the deck of cards. Then this will be the second one from the top and the third one from the top and this will be the bottom card right here. So if you frame this in terms of decisions what are your number of choices or a number of ways you can decide to what card goes on top? There's 52 different ways there. Once that card is in that position there are 51 different choices for the one that's below it and then 50 below it all the way down to there's only one choice at the end and these all get multiplied. By the multiplication rule there will be 52 factorial different ways to shuffle a deck of cards and this is approximately 10 to the 68th power. And that number is so large um, the answer to the second question is when you shuffle a deck of cards what's the probability you are making shuffling card history? you are almost certainly going to be making shuffling card history. Even though there's been a lot of people over the years, the number 10 to the 68th um, overwhelms that.